I've got to hand it to you, Erica. Your daughter is super hot. And those cheers you hear, straight guys everywhere, ready to party. Kendall, 100%, plays for our team. I know my daughter isn't gay, but I really appreciate your testing the waters. My focus has shifted. What, you're off the Greenlee Kendall train? And right onto the Greg Madden Express. I want all the dirt there is on your father. Whatever it's about, Erica, count me out. If I stay out of my dad's life, maybe he'll get the hint and stay out of mine. What did Greg do to make you so angry this time? Tried to run my life. What else? I mean, I know I carry the title of Dr. Madden's Miracle Child, but do all miracle kids have to deal with their fathers breathing down their neck 24-7? And what was your uh, horrendous mistake this month? Your daughter. He saw me come on to Kendall at your request, and he lost it. I mean, yeah, so she's married, but we were just kidding around. He had a full-on heart attack. Well, I bet that I can shed some light on why. It turns out that Kendall is your father's latest guinea pig. Greenlee can't carry Ryan's baby, and, and so the good doctor, and I use both those terms very loosely, had the bright idea to implant Greenlee and Ryan's embryo in... Kendall? Can you believe it? She's Ken a surgeon? Yeah. I mean... He is just using my daughter as a broodmare. I never agreed to that. Despite the fact that your father unethically played God with my gullible daughter's womb, my hands are legally tied. I have to find some other way. And that's where you come in, Josh. Josh, do you know of any trouble your father was ever in? I mean, was there ever a lawsuit against him? Maybe he was charged with malpractice? Maybe something that actually was a danger to his medical license? No, not that I know of. Well, I refuse to believe that this is the first time that, that your father has crossed the line. What about insurance? Who is his insurance carrier? Because any kind of mark on his record, that could certainly ruin him. I'm sorry, Erica. I can't help you. Can't or won't. It's not as if this would be the first time you sided with me against your father. I mean, you refused to quit this job. You refused to testify against Greenlee for breaking into his office. Erica, there's a big difference between me standing my ground and helping you ruin his career. But you do value your job. And you seem to value threatening my job over personal things that have nothing to do with your television show. Look, I can find damaging information about your father other ways. The AMA, hospitals he's worked at. Jack can even pull court records. You know what, if you want to dig up whatever it is on my father, go ahead. I'm not going to help you, Erica. You're doing to Kendall exactly what I hate my dad for doing to me, trying to control her life. I am not trying to control her life. Kendall needs me to step in. She doesn't even know she's made a mistake. And it's my obligation to stop your father from ruining other women's lives the way he's ruined Kendall's. You know what? If something tells me Kendall's going to be just fine, she doesn't strike me as the victim type. Oh, and for the record, I don't remember hearing anything but gratitude from my dad's patients over the years. He may be a pain as a father, but he's a damn good doctor. And that's nothing you can change. You're on your own, Erica. I warned you. Of all the people to be investigating you, it had to be her. It is a bit ironic, isn't it? Oh, no. It's way past ironic. What happens if she finds out? Do you think I have not considered that? I knew nothing good could come of this. I told you to stay away from the daughter.